Namaste, and welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today, Certitude, Part 3, from the Mother. If one takes care not to pervert it, the body carries within itself the certitude of victory. It is only the wrong use we make of thought and its influence on the body, which robs it of this certitude of victory. So the first thing to do is to cultivate this certitude instead of destroying it. And when it is there, no effort is needed to aspire, but simply a flowering, an unfolding of that inner certitude of victory. The body carries within itself the sense of its divinity. There, this is what you must try to find again in yourself, if you have lost it. The victory is certain, and with this certitude we can face patiently any amount of wrong suggestions and hostile attacks. The certitude of the victory gives an infinite patience with the maximum of energy. In the sincerity of our trust lies the certitude of our victory. 3 October 1954 It's a bit difficult to define. Words diminish a lot. It resembles what we call peace, but it's luminous with such an impression of, what's the word? Ease, well-being, something. It's not turned this way, gesture to oneself. It's turned that way, gesture outward. And that's what makes it so hard to explain. It's not in the body, in itself, that it finds its well-being. It's a well-being, gesture in every direction, a sort of radiating well-being. And so, yes, something resembling a certitude. There's no more anxiety is quite out of the question. Question! is quite out of the question. But it is, it's more what we call positively well-being and certitude, something inexpressible. It's so vast in the body, that's the point, so vast. Really, it was like an offering for today. The whole day yesterday, the attack was very strong as if to see whether the body would bear up. But it kept its trust and calm certitude that it had the whole day long. And then it became something that was it, but it's hard to explain. And then, how can I put this? It isn't sensation or knowledge. It's a kind of mother feels the air between her fingers. You can't even say conviction. It's a certitude, a certitude in the perception that bliss is there, right there, waiting for us. But a whole world of contradictions that have been repressed in the subconscious keeps rising up from the subconscious to prevent us from feeling it. So you could say it's a battlefield but in perfect calm. From Sri Aurobindo You have apparently a call and may be fit for yoga, but there are different paths, and each has a different aim and end before it. 
It is common to all the paths to conquer the desires, to put aside the ordinary relations of life, and to try to pass from uncertainty to everlasting certitude. One may also try to conquer dream and sleep, thirst and hunger, etc. But it is no part of my yoga to have nothing to do with the world or with life or to kill the senses or entirely inhibit their action. It is the object of my yoga to transform life by bringing down into it the light, power, and bliss of the divine truth and its dynamic certitudes. This yoga is not a yoga of world-shunning asceticism, but of divine life. Your object, on the other hand, can only be gained by entering into samadhi and ceasing in it from all connection with world existence. You must make grow in you the peace that is born of the certitude of victory. 14 June 1933 And lastly, this most important quote of Sri Aurobindo. It is not a hope, but a certitude that the complete transformation of the nature will take place.